Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve three interesting examples based on route stability criteria. Before I start with my solution, let me explain the steps to be followed for route stability criteria. There are three steps that we need to follow. In first step, we need to identify characteristic equation of the system. Characteristic equation is 1 plus GS HS is equals to 0. In second step, we need to identify route matrix that I'll explain by examples. And in third step, we need to check first column of route matrix. In first column, we need to observe how many sign changes are there. Number of sign changes equals to number of routes in RHP. If no sign change is there, then system will be stable. So let us identify these three steps with three different examples. So let us solve first question over here. See in first question, we need to identify stability of the system using route stability criteria. So in first step, we need to identify characteristic equation. Characteristic equation is 1 plus GS HS is equals to 0. Here, GS that is given, that is 7 divided by S s plus 1 s plus 2 and hs that is unity feedback so that is 1 right now we need to solve this equation let us take lcm so here we will be having s s plus 1 s plus 2 plus 7 that is equals to 0 if you solve this then here we have s plus 1 into s plus 2 that is s square plus 3s plus 2 into s that will be s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus 7 that is equals to 0. So that is what characteristic equation, right? Now, with this characteristic equation, in second step, we need to identify route matrix. So in route matrix, we need to see highest order of equation. See, highest order is s cube. So first of all, note down s cube, s square, s to the power 1 and s to the power 0. Now, we need to write down coefficients. So, here with s to the power 3, we have coefficient 1. So, first of all, note down 1 over here. After that, skip one element. So, next element, that is having coefficient 2. So, note down 2 over here. After that, skip one element. So, next coefficient is 0. So, 0 that you don't need to note down, right? Now, with s square, we have coefficient 3. So let us note down 3, skip one element and note down next coefficient that is 7. So 7 over here. Now we don't have any coefficient. Now we need to identify remaining coefficient by calculation. So here with s to the power 1, we need to identify this coefficient. So for that, see, we need to do cross multiplication 3 into 2 minus 1 into 7. 3 into 2 minus 1 into 7 divided by this element that is 3. So 6 minus 7 that is minus 1 divided by 3. So that is minus 1 by 3. Right. So here we have minus 1 by 3. And now we need to identify this element. But you don't need to calculate this element. Why? The reason is over here elements are 0. Right. So this is 0. Now we need to identify this element. So for this element, here we need to do cross multiplication. Minus 1 by 3 into 7. Minus 3 into this element. Here we don't have anything means here we have 0. Right. So this element that will be minus 1 by 3 into 7. Minus 3 into 0. Divided by this element that is minus 1 by 3. Now, if you observe, see this is 0, minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3 is getting cancelled and we will be having 7 only, right. But always remember, as if this element is 0, right, then directly you can place this element over here. So, here we will be having 7. But here I am showing you calculation. So, you should know if this element is 0, then you can directly place this element over here, right. Now we need to check third step. 
that is to identify sign changes in first column see in first column here we have sign change from positive to negative and here we have second sign change from negative to positive so here in total two sign changes are there what it means we have two roots in rhp as if you have any single root in rhp then system becomes unstable right hence one can say system is unstable so that is how we can identify stability of the system let us solve second problem see in second problem we have characteristic equation so first step that is already solved over here now in second step we need to identify routh matrix right so here we have highest order that is s to the power 4 so s to the power 4 s to the power 3 s to the power 2 s to the power 1 and s to the power 0 that is our note down coefficients now with s to the power 4 we have coefficient 1 skip one element next element is having coefficient 8 skip one element next element is having coefficient 3 with s to the power 3 we have coefficient 2 skip one element we have 4 after that if you skip then we have 0 over here right now we need to identify this element so that element will be 2 into 8 minus 1 into 4 divided by this element that is 2 so 16 minus 4 that is 12 by 2 that will be 6 so this element is 6 over here right now we need to identify this element now see if you want to identify this element and as if this element is 0 then directly you can place this element over here that is 3 let me explain how see this element that will be 2 into 3 minus 1 into this element so you will be observing 2 into 3 minus 1 into 0 divided by 2 so this 2 and this 2 is getting cancelled so that will be 3 so that's why i was saying like if this element is 0 directly you can place this element over here you don't need to calculate that right now in next step we need to identify this element so that will be 6 into 4 minus 2 into 3 divided by 6 so that will be 24 minus 6 that is 18 divided by 6 that will be 3 so here we have 3 if you don't have these elements then here we have 0 and if you don't have this element then directly you can place this 3 over here right after a cross multiplication you just check if this element is 0 you can place this element over here right so that is how we can solve the route matrix now in third step we need to check first column see in first column all the elements are positive means there is no sign change right what it means there is no root in rhp as if we don't have any root in rhp you can say system is stable so that is how we can identify route stability let us solve one more question see in third question we have characteristic equation so first step is to identify characteristic equation that is given so we need to identify route matrix here highest order is s to the power 4 so note down s to the power 4 s to the power 3 s to the power 2 s to the power 1 and s to the power 0 with s to the power 4 coefficient is 1 then skip one element we have 20 skip one element we have 100 over here with s to the power 3 coefficient is 1 skip one element we have 9 then skip one element we have 0 now we need to identify this element that is 1 into 20 minus 1 into 9 divided by 1 that will be 20 minus 9 that is 11 so this element is 11 right now here we have this element that is 0 so directly you can place this element over here that is 100 right now we need to identify this element so that will be 11 into 9 minus 1 into 100 divided by 11 
so that will be 99 minus 100 so that is minus 1 divided by 11 and this element that will be 0 why the reason is these two elements are 0 right and this element that will be this element as this element is 0 so here we will be having 100 now in third step we need to check first column see in first column here positive to negative polarity is changing and here negative to positive polarity is changing so two time sign changes are there means we have two roots in rhp what it means we have unstable system so that is how we can identify stability so always remember here we need to follow three simple steps first step is to identify characteristic equation in second step we need to identify routh matrix and in third step we need to check first column right but here there are few questions in which there are different case studies so there are two different cases that you need to understand with routh hermist that i'll explain you in future coming videos by examples thank you so much for watching this video